Welcome back to a new studio vlog. A couple things to update you. I'm in a very good mood today. Well, actually, I was in a really good mood yesterday, but then I had a lot of nightmares last night, so I feel quite tired, but that's fine. Um, first of all, my postcards came in for the Patreon. They came in early. So did my stickers. I can show you both of them. Um, the postcards look so good. <laughs> I don't know how to... I didn't think... I was a little concerned about the contrast. Uh, in printing because it looked really good um, on my iPad but you know you never really know with printing and I didn't test print it because um, I like to live life on the edge apparently I I tend to not test print a lot of my postcard prints at home because so far all of these postcards have looked pretty good so I haven't really felt like I need to um, but yeah, I'm so happy with it. It looks so good. The one thing that I would change is maybe I would have edited the cat um, in the corner. I feel like I should have given the cat little white paws, but it's fine. That's it. That's that's not a printing issue. That's a me issue. Uh, I think it looks so good. I also it makes me really want to do another library drawing, even though the books made me want to die a little bit. Yeah, it looks really good. Do, do you think it looks good? I think it looks so good. Um, yeah, so these came, and then also, um, my cake tier on Patreon sold out. So now I have to consider whether or not I want to add, uh, slots to my cake tier next month. Um, the problem is, postcards come in, you can get 100. From the place that I order them, you can get 100, and then the next amount up you can get is 250 and I don't think I can sell 250 slots I don't think I can sell another 150 cake tier slots so it's a little bit concerning <laughs> I don't know if I should but I also don't want to be like no you can't have it you know so like should I just suck it up and like have to deal with storing a ton of extra postcards because then I, I can always uh, even though they are page they're pretty patreon specific like they have stuff on the back and they have like a little date thing um, I could still do I could still get 250 and then like sell extras eventually in the shop I don't know I don't know I have to think about it um, and then also my sticker sheets came in I think the sticker sheets look really cute look at them together okay and this and this they go so well together. The color matching looks actually surprisingly really good, even though they're printed from two different places. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm really happy with them. I think they look really good, and they look really cute together. Um, and I'm considering adding more slots. Yeah. And then the other thing that happens is I finished this little uh, commission. I think it turned out pretty good. The person who commissioned me has not responded to my DMs or my emails yet, so I'm still waiting on whether or not I can pack this up, but I hope they like it. Uh, they also asked for stickers uh, of this. That is a thing that I do offer with my pet portrait commissions. Um, uh, there's a sticker add-on uh, if you want stickers of your portrait. I will make them for you because I make them in-house so they're really easy. Um, yeah, and then the last really exciting thing that I wanted to update you all on is I got my first ever wholesale order. <sighs> so back in like March, April, May, a while back I posted on Instagram. I can probably show the post um, on Instagram stories basically saying that one of my goals in 2022 was to get my stuff into New York City uh, shops. And uh, I tagged a couple different shops that I really like. I tagged Kinokuniya, I tagged Lockwood, which is in Astoria, and I tagged Q and Willow Books, which is a cute little bookstore in Kew Gardens. Um, and Q and Willow responded to me, and then they basically they just became my first wholesale customer. And I'm gonna make a bunch of post, uh, 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 I'm gonna make a bunch of bookmarks for them um, today and uh they ordered some stickers and they ordered some washi tape and i'm so excited <laughs> um so i think i think this is a good idea i think i am i al and i have been making a little list of like stores that we like in new york city that we think would match like my vibe um asian owned queer owned uh cute little indie bookstores and cafes 
and stuff like that. Things that, you know, might as well, might as well try. Um, so I think I want to start trying to like reach out to them and be like, hey, I make cool stuff. Maybe buy it? <laughs> Maybe buy it? Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm really excited. Also, I have to go stream now. So I have to go. But yeah, that's, that's the very quick cold open intro to my studio vlog. Uh, I hope it's a good one. Uh, this month we should be doing a lot of stuff. I have a lot of plans for merch that I need to make for the fall shop update. Um, that will probably be in August or September. Um, but yeah, and we're doing another market at the end of this month. But I think the market is after the studio vlog will go. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm really excited. Okay, I need to go. Goodbye. <laughs>it's been quite a while since I filmed or talked to you guys um, it's actually <laughs> like that second half of July I basically didn't film at all during the beginning of July um, unfortunately because I have had the worst beginning of the month I've had in a really long time um, I had really really bad I had a really bad reaction to my period this month. <laughs> I don't know if that's TMI, but it sucks. And then I've been dealing with insomnia on and off for the past few weeks. So I've been, I slept okay last night and I slept okay the night before, but the two, like the first two nights of this week, it's Thursday, the first two nights of this week, I didn't sleep at all. So that's super fun for me. Um, yeah, and we're going through a heat wave, like, like, you know, one of those yearly, annual, historic heat waves, and it is so warm, so I, I <laughs> have not been wanting to turn on the camera to talk because I've been so sweaty, um, even with the AC on, uh, and I have to turn off the AC to talk because it's too noisy, so, yeah, anyway, I have still been working despite my general pain <laughs> this month. I um, can't wait for this month to be over, honestly. I am, July has not been a good month for me, but it's fine. Um, I've been making a lot of stuff, and the stuff has been cute. So that's good. We're working on a shop update for probably August, late August, September. We're kind of aiming for late August, September, early September, depending on when my washi tape arrives, because... I haven't made washi tapes since last year and I've been really wanting to design some new washi tapes because I finally sold out of two of my washi tape designs. I sold out of the floral 
uh, stamps and I sold out of my ocean stamps. I still have a couple of the um, galaxy stamps and I still have quite a few of the summer skies tapes, but I've been really wanting to design some, some more washi tapes. So I have done that. I, um, I'm gonna kind of keep it a secret for now because, you know, just because. <laughs> You can't, you can't have it, so what's the point of showing you? But I'm really, really excited about them. I'm doing kind of a mini group order. Um, I ordered them with my friend Marianne um, just to help save on shipping costs because they send it via like DHL, like expedited, ex expedited, expedited, expedited shipping. Um, so the shipping is really, really expensive. So um, yeah. Anyway, I'm really excited about the tapes. I also designed, <laughs> I designed some new notepads and I thought it might be fun to get post-it notes, um, sticky notes. And so I looked around for a couple of manufacturers. I ended up deciding I really, really prefer the actual post-it note adhesive to sticky notes. Whenever I get sticky notes that are not post-it notes, um, the adhesive is kind of crappy. Like, pages rip and I don't know I, I've never had um, a good experience with sticky notes that are on post-it note so I found that Vistaprint actually makes custom post-it notes like actual post-it post-it notes so I ordered these two designs <laughs> um I think they're so cute I think there's still plenty of space to write uh, and they're sticky. They're actual post-it notes. If you turn them around, you can see the post-it note branding. And I think they're so cute. They're so expensive to manufacture. Holy crap. They're like way more expensive than, than, than notepads. Um, I ordered 20 of each design and it cost me so much money. So I really hope they sell. But I also kind of hope that they don't sell because I want to keep them because they're so cute. <laughs> which is kind of counterintuitive, but they're so cute. Anyway, and I also designed uh, two more, I think, notepads that I think I'm just going to make at home. Like, I'm just going to manufacture them at home because they're just, they're not that hard to make um, when they're not, when they're like regular notepads. You just need like Elmer's glue. So they're pretty easy to make. Um, and I still have bulk glue. Can you see it in the back? Yeah. I have bulk glue from architecture school. That's that's a really old bottle of glue. <laughs> so I gotta use it somehow. So this is this is how I'm using it. Um, yeah. Apart from that, I've been working on the Patreon goodies. Um, I'm really excited about the stickers I designed. Uh, the Patreon theme this month was water. So I wanted to do stuff that was like, you know, pond river etc themed i wanted to do something a little bit more simple because um for the past few months i've really dedicated myself to making really complicated illustrations and they've been really really fun but they've taken a long time and i i, I was like this month we're gonna try and take a bit of a break so i'm really proud of the stickers i designed they're lotus flower themed because you know i am an absolute hoe for lotus flowers. I love lotus flowers so much. Um, if you uh, ever took like advanced Chinese if you're in the States or just like regular Chinese if you grew up in China, um, you had to, so so when I was in school in China, we learned um, Gu Wen, which is like ancient texts. And one of the Gu Wen that we learned was Ai Lian Shuo, which means Ode to Lotus Flowers. So if you ever see any like Chinese writing uh, next to a lotus flower drawing that I do, it's a quote from that ancient text. And I, ever since I read that text in like freaking fifth grade or sixth grade or something, I have loved lotus flowers. And so I've just been, anytime I get a chance to draw them, I will draw them. Um, so these are, the, <laughs> these are the stickers I designed. I think they turned out really, really cute. Um, really proud of how they turned out i kind of was going for like a picnic by the lotus flower pond theme so we have these stickers and then i also made this Ooh, is it gonna 
yeah, this little froggy floating on a lotus pond. I think it's really cute. This is gonna be the single sticker. I thought about making it a um, different background color, but I kind of like the white. I feel like it, I don't know. It looks cute. It looks very zen. So I kind of kept it, I just kept it that way. Um, and then I wanted to do something watercolor for the print, the Patreon print. And I had a, I, I wanna show you. Um, how it went so I every every month before I begin any actual art creation I do a kind of a brain dump sketch and sometimes I do it on um, iPad but usually uh, but this month I decided to do it in my little notebook that I made um, finally broke these open so this was the thumbnail sketch that I made um, I liked the idea of having the framing of the lotus flowers with like a picnic scene in the middle. I also thought about doing an ocean theme, but I kind of decided, you know, because I am such, such a hoe for lotus flowers, I decided to go with the lotus pond idea. And I ended up painting it in watercolor because I really wanted to have something traditional. I haven't done any traditional painting for my Patreon this year since like January <laughs> and it's July. So, um, yeah, so I ended up painting this, but I wasn't super happy with it. So um, you've seen the paint with me for this, but um, I really like this portion of the painting. I actually, I really like this guy too. I really liked this portion of the painting. I liked um, the lotus flower framing and I liked the, like the colors I chose, the really vibrant, just vibrant colors that because I haven't been really playing with a lot of vibrant colors I tend to kind of go for more muted warm cozy colors and these aren't particularly cozy these are like super springy and vibrant but I didn't like the the, the willow tree um, I'm not very good at painting trees trees kind of stress me out um, I have never painted a willow tree before and I was kind of just like winging it and I think you can tell that it's a willow tree but it doesn't look like it looks I don't know, it just feels kind of not, I don't like it as much. It's not, it's not a very good willow tree, you know? So I thought I would try and redraw it digitally, which I did, and I do like this willow tree a lot better. I think this willow tree looks like a willow tree. Let me turn down the brightness more so you can actually see it. This one, let me, um, I can, here, I can put a little, the little replay thing again while I talk. Um, yeah, I really liked the, I really liked having the digital and the watercolor, and I did order the Patreon postcards already, so they're actually going to be back-to-back. -back. So the, the front is the digital version, and the back is the watercolor version, um, which I think is a fun juxtaposition. But something about the digital version doesn't have the same amount of charm as the watercolor one, and I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know how, how like, why... The watercolor one feels more charming than the digital one even though the digital one technically i think is a better painting like like the tree looks better the flower uh composition oh my god a bird just landed on our ac i just got really scared um the 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 water looks nicer in the digital um illustration the lotus flower composition is a little bit better it frames everything a little better but something about the digital version doesn't feel as charming as the watercolor one and i don't know why and it it's made me kind of not love this digital piece as much as i've loved my past digital pieces uh from this year like i've really loved the digital work i've done this year i really loved the book the the library painting. I really, really love the convenience store painting. Um, I've been working on more illustrations. I've been so proud of all my digital work this year. And this one feels, this one feels off. <laughs> just feels kind of off. And I don't know why it might just be that I've been looking at it for too long. I also think that the willow tree is a little bit more rendered than everything else. And maybe that's what's causing it to feel a little bit strange but i also really like how i did the willow tree i like the shading i like all the little like bits of the tree leaves that are kind of falling off onto the, the little picnic blanket um, onto red panda um, because um, it feels like it's like a fully incorporated scene you know i don't know there's something about it that feels awesome i don't know what it is 
but you know you tell me maybe you don't think it looks off maybe you think it looks great <laughs> i was actually so this month is the first month in a while where my patreon goodie bags the cake tier which is like the sticker sheets and the postcard prints are sold out i think it was sold out and then there was like one slot left and i don't know if that slot, slot's been taken but anyway it's like basically sold out and i was my plant needs water i sorry i was thinking about um, adding more slots which would require me to order 250 postcards instead of 100 postcards but i feel so like unsure about this painting that I decided not to increase my my cake bag tier because I feel like it's not good enough people aren't gonna buy it I don't know maybe it's just me I have no idea anyway yeah but um so basically for the rest of the month I can just draw whatever the heck I want because I finished my patreon stuff already I need to write my blog post is that due today Things I should know. I need to write my blog post, but like all of the actual work that needs to be done, like the art stuff that needs to be done, is done. Yeah, I do need to write my blog post today. Um, is finished, which means for the rest of the month I can do whatever I want. And I've decided that I really want to join in on one of these those Instagram drawing challenges because I haven't done one in so long. And I um, am gonna be doing Animal Adventures Week. I'm gonna be trying my best to do Animal Adventures Week, which is for the last week of July. Um, a piece every day and there's like a bunch of different prompts and I started working on the on one of them on the first one for morning has broken um, I started working on it last night and I really like it so far it's a little bedroom um, here is how it looks so far it's so bright here is how it looks so far okay well now it's a little too dark but it is a little bit of an it's an isometric bedroom and um it's going to be the idea is that like like our little friends are sleeping in the bedroom and the morning light daybreak is like the light is going to shine through the window and that's how the lighting is going to work and i think it'll be really fun and i'm also interested because the last prompt on the list is bedtime i'm interested in just basically slightly adjusting the bed so that they're reading a book together um and then basically keeping everything else the same and redoing the lighting so it's nighttime lighting. I think that would be a really fun exercise. Um, I don't know if that's kind of cheating because it's the same illustration base just with some elements slightly changed and the lighting changed, but I do think it'll be an interesting exercise because I've never really tried to do like vastly different lighting in the same illustration and I think that'd be like a good I don't know, like portfolio thing, like to show that you can do different kinds of lighting because I tend to do kind of the same 5 p.m. glowy lighting situation. So I'm interested in trying something different. So yeah, um, that's what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to write my blog post today and I'm going to work on this illustration, I think. I also want to design some sun catchers, which is which are those like rainbow prism stickers that you put on the window because I did those last fall, uh, my first batch last fall. Um, I'm looking at them <laughs> they're over there uh and they sold out and i would like to make new ones and i'm trying to decide i haven't figured out what the designs are going to be yet but i do really I, I maybe like a flower one i think a flower one could be nice like a little tulip one um or a sunflower one but yeah i'm, I'm trying to decide what i want to do for those um but yeah the two big things i really wanted to do this month uh create design the post-it notes and design the washi tapes i'm basically done with because I just sent the manufacturer the money um so there's not much more I can do but when we unbox it hopefully next month you'll see them and it'll look really good and I'm gonna stop talking now because I've been recording for 17 minutes apparently that's gonna be a lot to cut down and I really need to water my plant because it looks so sad and I need to turn on the AC again because I'm so warm <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay, I know I was literally just talking to you for like so long and I haven't filmed anything because I was writing my Patreon blog post, which I finished writing and I think it's a really cool idea so I'm gonna like 
Well, I'll just tell you. Um, basically, I'm starting a new little mini series on my Patreon uh, for the blog post. I thought it might be interesting to talk about the like design thinking and the manufacturing behind specific products that I make. So for this first one, I talked about uh, designing sticky notes and notepads and like um, the thought process behind writable space and balancing that and like this and like the illustrations and then i also talked about how i make notepads at home and also where i got my sticky notes manufactured um etc so i think it's kind of interesting i'm i kind of i want to see if my patrons like it and if they do i'd be really interested in talking about like how i design bookmarks how i design notebooks all of those like little non-art centric i mean they're still art things but like they have multiple purposes you know as opposed to like just a print or a sticker which is also fine i love making stickers and i love making prints but there's something just so fun about making designs that are meant to be used in some way um i think it's because i have like an architecture background um and a user experience background like like i studied architecture and then i went into ux um and then now i'm doing this so I think it's because of that background like i've always had to think a lot about how like people walk through a space and how people um, are like guided through doing things without like really knowing that they're doing it if that makes sense i don't know i don't know how to explain it but i i find this stuff really interesting so i talked about that and i i hope people like it but anyway what i really wanted to tell you was the bookstore that um purchased bookmarks from me last month my first ever wholesale old order they just dm'd me and they said the bookmarks went so fast which i think means that they sold out of the bookmarks which is really funny because i actually wanted to go to the bookstore to like see my bookmarks there but i think maybe i missed the opportunity but they sent me uh, uh one of my posts and they asked if any of it was going to go on fair because they would like to purchase um they're ready for another order and that's so cool <laughs> i'm so excited um i told them that i can put the sticker sheets on first so they're basically asking for the sticker sheets and the postcards i think from my um from this month's patreon goodies the sticker sheets i still have a ton of i'm totally happy to put those on whole on wholesale and then the postcards i'm out of so depending on whether or not they want to purchase a bunch of the bookmarks i mean a bunch of the postcards i might redesign the postcards so that the back okay the reason the postcards are patreon specific is because so the front is a good postcard yes the back isn't actually a postcard <laughs> It has another design and then it has like a little text thing that says um, what month it was designed in and then my little like logo thing. Um, but I could redesign this so that it's an actual postcard, have an actual postcard design in the back. Um, and then order a batch. And then see if they want to buy it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I'll, I'll wait for them to respond because I'm currently... I only have like two or three of these left like i couldn't i couldn't put this on wholesale but if they want enough of them i would be willing to order another batch of 100 and then maybe make little sets to put on my patreon shop um if i have extras i don't know but yeah that's what i'm thinking about but i'm really excited because it was my first ever wholesale thing and like freaking people bought stuff from the bookstore that i made that's so cool! I, st I can't believe I missed out on going to the book. <laughs> we walked by that bookstore. Okay, this bookstore is on the way to the boba shop that I like to go to, but I haven't been to the boba shop in like a week and a half. Why didn't I go to the boba shop? Listen, I could have had boba and see my bookmarks, but I didn't go. Why didn't I go? I hope they order more of the bookmarks. Anyway. Anyway, that's that's all I had to say. I just I was just really excited. Okay, um, I'm gonna have so much of me talking to cut down. I'm a little concerned about editing Cecile, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs>
popping in to say thank you for watching my studio vlog. This is the end of the studio vlog. Um, just a couple things. First, if you want my goodies, my uh, book store, no, library themed goodies, I know how words work, um, which include this really cute sticker sheet and this really cute sticker sheet and this really detailed print that I hope a lot of you like. I don't know. It didn't do well on social media. I talked about this in my last vlog. It didn't do well on social media, but uh, uh, a lot of you who have seen it seem to like it. Um, anyway, if you want this and the sticker sheet and more other stickers that are in this package that I can't be bothered to take out, um, you have until the end of July to grab it. So you have a couple more days if you want it. And second, Tomorrow, tomorrow, according to when this video comes out, aka on July 30th, I'm going to be doing a craft fair in Astoria. So if you are in the New York City area and you want to come to a nice area of Queens, um, Astoria is pretty cute. There's lots of like food and nice people <laughs> and stuff there. Um, I'm doing a craft fair there. So I'll have those details linked below um, if you want to check them out and maybe come and say hi. That would be really, really nice. Apart from that, yeah, July's been kind of a slow month for me. I've been very, been not feeling very great. We've been dealing with this heat wave. Um, I haven't been getting outside because it's too hot to go outside, which means all I've done for most of this month is sit on the couch or sit at my desk because I haven't been feeling great. Um, and it's been very hard to motivate myself to be productive, so hopefully next month will be better. But yeah, I've still been making a lot of art. I've been working on a bunch of projects for um, the next shop update, which will hopefully be in August slash early September, depending on when a couple of these manufactured goodies that I ordered is going to come. So yeah, that's that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for being part of my cozy little space on the internet. And that's it. I will see you later. <laughs> Goodbye, friends.